In quilting, the way you press your seams can sometimes be considered controversial. Some people are firmly on the press my seams open camp, and some people are firmly in the press my seams to the dark side camp. But I'd like to propose another option, thoughtful pressing, where you make your pressing decisions based on the situation that you have in front of you rather than some quilting rule that you think exists. Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pujagi, and embroidery. And today we're going to talk about thoughtful pressing and using the context of your situation to decide which way you're going to press the seams. So there are three things that you need to think about when you're deciding how your seams are going to be pressed. The first thing is the piecing pattern that you are making. Sometimes the way you're piecing will determine how the pressing goes. The next thing is going to be your fabric choice. Fabrics will sometimes require pressing a certain way, even if it's not what you usually do. And the third thing is the quilting design that you're going to use. If you think in terms of the finished project that you're going to have, then that will help you in deciding how you're going to press. When you're piecing, sometimes pressing to one side is really helpful. And that's especially true in traditional quilting, which I think is why sometimes traditional quilters who've been quilting a long time really stick to the rules because that's what they've learned and that's what served them well for such a long time. So for example, in this nine patch block, which is one of the most uh, basic traditional blocks, we join smaller blocks. But if we press our seams all to one side, so in this situation, I'm pressing them all so it goes underneath the floral fabric, and this one is also pressed that way, then when we're going to join these pieces together to make the block, we can see that the seams nest together really nicely. And so that makes it easier when we're joining these pieces because we can just feel with our fingers that the seam is lined up and that will help us give us a really nice finished block with all the um, points matching because we've nested the seams together. Similarly, anytime you have strips of fabric, it's nice to press them all in one direction. Uh, regardless of what the color option is in the strip. That will make it easier as you're pressing, as you're assembling and in the cutting. So most people that are pressed to one side are pressed to the dark side. And this makes sense because then the um, fabric is behind the darker fabric and there's less of a chance of shadows coming through. But pressed to the dark side is not always the best solution. So example, in this shoe fly block that I have, I have these half square triangles and on the half square triangles, the fabric is pressed to the dark side. That is, um, that's a good option for this. But in this block, I chose not to press the seams under the dark side. And the reason for that is because if I press this seam, to the darker fabric, that would have left a lot more bulk in the seams. So it's much easier um, to get a flatter piece and it'll make the quilting easier if I press this seam away from the triangle and onto the flat fabric, even though that's pressing to the light side. Um, and so uh, think about how to eliminate bulk and how to eliminate big piles of seams um, jumping up. So I did press everything to the light side. So these two blocks I pressed in, this block I pressed out, and these two I pressed in. So that still gave me the nice nesting seams that really helped it go together easily and helped me match up and line up my points in the middle on this block. But sometimes your fabric choice will impact how you press your seams. So in this situation, even when I pressed to the light side of the fabric, this wasn't a problem because I'm not getting shadows through here. But if I had a really lightweight 
light fabric or thin or um, there was some other problem and I could see the dark fabric pressed underneath, then that would be a situation where I would really want to look at pressing my seams open. Because when you press your seams open, then the fabric seam allowance is underneath its own color. So anytime if you're seeing shadows, you're seeing the dark fabric come through on the front, then you might want to consider pressing open because that will eliminate that situation. Also, anytime if you have a whole bunch of seams coming into one point and then it's going to be a lot of bulk, that might be another situation where you'd want to press open just to help split the seam allowances to go two different ways instead of all in one direction. One of the big things that will impact how you press your seams is by thinking about how you're going to quilt the quilt and finish it. So if you're going to do a lot of free motion quilting like I have in this quilt, then the free motion quilting, um, it will help stabilize seams and hold everything together. So it really matters less how you press your seams if it's going to be heavily quilted. In this situation, what you most want to do is reduce bulk so that you don't have big bumps that you're trying to quilt through. And similarly, uh, with this quilt, which is done with matchstick quilting, there's so much quilting on here that um, the seams are going to be supported if they're pressed open or pressed one side. It doesn't really matter. The seams are not going to be coming apart because the quilting is helping to hold them together. But if you're going to do a lightweight quilting or stitch in the ditch quilting, then that's a time you might want to consider um, pressing to one side instead of pressing open. If you have your um, seams and your seams are all pressed open and then you come along and you want to stitch in the ditch to finish off your quilt, stitching in the ditch will mean ideally your stitching is going right in between those two pieces of fabric, right into the seam. And because your seam's open, that means there's no fabric is going to be catching on. It's going to be going right in between and, and kind of missing the fabric. So that could actually weaken the seam if you're just stitching in between. You might be hitting the threads and it's not going to have a lot of support. Whereas if your seam was pressed to one side, then even when you stitch in the ditch, your quilting stitch is still going through fabric, not just between pieces of fabric. So if you're going to be doing stitch in the ditch to finish it off, then I highly recommend pressing to one side just to give your quilting stitches something to hang on to. So when you take into account your piecing, your fabric, and your quilting design, then that will help you to be able to make thoughtful decisions as you go for how you're going to press your fabric. But of course, sometimes with your pressing, things don't go exactly the way you thought they were going to go. So for example, on this quilt, as I was joining the blocks together, I have this piece where the uh, seam is stitched to so press that way. But if we follow the seam along at this end, it's stitched so it's pressed this way. So now we have a little bend in this. So at some point, it's going to have this little fold in it that I'm sure everybody's seen. So in this situation, again, you need to thoughtfully make a decision of what you're going to do with this. Um, you would consider what is the purpose of this quilt. If this is a quilt that is going to be entered in a national competition, then for sure, this is something you want to take out and redo. If this is a quilt that you're going to make and it's going to go in your child's bed, then to be honest, I don't think this is worth taking out. You can press it so it kind of flattens down and it will be hidden in the finished quilting. So um, don't be too uh, perfectionist about it. Some things really aren't going to matter when you're finished your quilt. So be thoughtful, 
think about what the purpose of your finished project is and then decide if that's something that you're going to be able to live with or something that you desperately have to take out so that you can fix it. So thoughtful pressing will help you to make decisions on how you're going to press each of your seams and will hopefully help you avoid fights when you're meeting with your other quilters. For quilting patterns, tutorials, and tips, be sure to check out my website, evidastudio.com.